What's up everyone, this is Rayuka here and this is my unboxing of the limited edition of Guilty Gear Signs XRD um, for the PS4. So I'm going to turn this around so everyone can have an idea of what content is in this limited edition. So we got special backyard re re replica box, excuse me, <laughs> Guilty Gear Codex dash lore dash encyclopedia because that's what it is, but I'm pretty sure they couldn't fit that all in this part. Guilty Gear Vocal Collection Keychain of Soul Bad Guys Buckle. It would have been cool though if they were giving you an actual belt buckle, but they give you the keychain. So now let's get to the unboxing. So I will pull this up. Thank God the slider is not paying the ass to pull off. And as you can see here, it says Heaven or Hell. And here it says Guilty Gear, the logo of the game. It would have been cool though if they would have put Less Rock or Heaven or Hell or however, but they just put this, which makes sense, but okay. So now that slider's off, we got the front of the game, which is in in bronze as you can see got kind of this in bronze thing going on here and it's shiny and it has symbols and all that stuff the back though it, well this is the backyard the side but there's no in bronze here or the back the back is just plain out flat as you can see it's just flat just a little bit shiny this here and there and then you got this so now let's open this up the backyard you know there's nothing on the side so and then that's the wire like a book well little strap so you got the codex soundtrack well vocal collection but soundtrack the game oh no to be kind of a Pain to take out. And the belt buckle. Well, not the belt buckle, but the keychain. That's so bad guys belt buckle, which is free. So I'm pretty sure the game ain't any different um than the normal version, I would imagine. But yeah, this is the game. Front, back. I know for the American version, which we have, they uh sort of changed the design here. If you look up the Japanese box co um, cover of this in the U.S., they um, actually added more to cover up her cleavage. But, um, yeah. Besides that, uh, here we go again. Uh, let's open this up. So you got the game. Guilty Gear. The background. To add, she usually comes with most of his games under Night Rebirth. Under Night in Birth, actually, excuse me. I called it Rebirth, but it's in Birth. Um, and it actually comes with a manual. <laughs> That's a good thing for me because it's a colored manual, as you can see here. And that's a good thing because, and actually, and for those who didn't get the collector's edition, it still gives you a little bit of information on Guilty Gear X, then 2, then Guilty Gear uh, Vastage, and then Guilty Gear XR Third Sign. So it's really good that they uh, recap the player on the story and history of Guilty Gear. So then they're not too lost when they um, play this game and they're wondering, oh, you know, this is what's going on in the story and this is what's been happening so it gives you a little bit of a recap if you read the manual of what's going on and the best part is it's in color because most games now these days do not come with a manual so let me talk about the soundtrack track a bit <laughs> and um vocal collection that's it's called uh, but this is a soundtrack um there's about 10 songs here you got the console version ending and then you got heavy day um, I like a few of these songs, though. I do like the first track, and I do like Ride the Fire. This is the Dragon Install theme, basically, when Soul Bad Guy transforms. This is the song that plays, and it's a, it's a really good song. Uh, I like that song a lot, actually. Um, and it shows all the, the composer and lyrics, 
from the main developer and stuff. Really good soundtrack. Um, if you haven't heard though, Ride the Fire, I say look it up. It's a really good thing, especially if you're gonna go to Gears. It's a no-brainer. And then I'm going to talk about this really quick here. Well, might not be as quick as I said, but I am gonna talk about this right now. So let's get into this Codex. So the Codex is pretty much a Psychopedia of Psychopedia dash lore of Guilty Gear. It pretty much tells you the characters, the gallery, history, the world, organizations, even race. It goes as far as to tell you about the race, arms, terminology, and further information. So they go pretty far with this one. So as you can see here, it shows so bad guy, interest, birthdays, unknown. Dislikes, effort, and trying hard, voiced by, even tells you the voice actors. Gives you the different art to him now. Story. Then further information about him. So yeah, it's pretty detailed uh, description of these characters, pretty much. And it does the same for each one, page by page. Even characters, for instance, that didn't appear in the game, pretty much tells you what happened to them or what they've been up to and things of that nature. And it's really uh, cool to see that. So I don't want to spoil this whole codex, but yes, there's a lot of characters in here, such as Johnny. Um, which it was announced for Revolter. Then you got Venom. Then you even have Zappa. So I mean, yeah, you have quite a few characters. Older Soul. Characters from Overturn. I mean, yeah. So I'm trying to skip all that because there's a lot of stuff. So as you can see here, there's character art, more art. Then this page tells you the history, which they put with a K. And I don't even know if that was a typo, which is interesting. I don't know if that was really an error or well, because that is definitely a K, not an H. But uh, anyway, yeah, it tells you a lot about the Guilty Gear universe here. It tells you about the gear weapons, military empire of Zap, 2073, theory of magical science. I mean, it, it has a lot. Uh, it tells you a lot about the the Guilty Gear universe and uh, things like that. The appearance of new gears. Yeah, it's just a lot going in. So as I said, uh, the Codex was, in my opinion, one of the bigger reasons why I got um, the Guilty Gear XRD signed limited edition because um, I wanted to know more about the Guilty Gear universe and especially being that I'm in the Blaze Blue and I like the story and lore behind that and there's a lot of story in the Blaze Blue going even as far as back into X Blaze but um Guilty Gear also has a lot of story and I believe Guil Guilty Gear was one of the ones that started that even though Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue have no affiliation I mean they're not in the same universe so they say but um they have a lot of similarities but yeah I uh, definitely liked it, the Codex, and also in the game, if you've seen my review, um, they have a library. So if you didn't have, if you didn't get your hands on the limited edition, you have nothing to worry about because they have a library in the game that gives you the same amount of information and same amount of detail. So yes, so what you couldn't get, in case you couldn't get your hands on the limited edition, it's in the game in the library section. So if you want to know more about the universe and whatnot, there's definitely a lot to look up there. So that was it for my uh, unboxing of the limited edition. Um, that was everything that was in it, pretty much. And if you're wondering what his headband says, it says Rock You, not the other way around. Um, but yeah, the limited edition has stuff worthwhile in it, especially if you're into the story of Guilty Girl wanting to know more. There's definitely... A reason to get this if you get your hands on it. I'm pretty sure they're still selling this on uh, probably on Amazon and a few other places. So if you can get your hands on it and you really like Guilty Gear, I say pick it up. Uh, but no worry because 
they have a library in the game. So if you're into the story, if you couldn't get your hands on the limited edition, like I said, you go to the library and it's all there. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope me spoiling the contents of this was worthwhile. Or if you're just wondering, curious what was in there, that's what was in this uh, limited edition. I believe it cost 80 bucks when it came out. I don't know what the value of it is now. But uh, yeah. Anyway, until next time, everyone, this is Rayuka here saying, sayonara.